So, I have told you that you are not supposed to be editing files that have been edited or created by Frappe and or ERP Next. If you need to do customizations to your document, for you to be safe and for your software to be safe and your project to be safe and your company to be safe and your employer to be safe or whoever you want to be safe, create your custom app and do all your customizations on that app. I have insisted that over and over. Now, I have a problem today. What if here, this is the app that we created. What if we want to save a, a, a student here? We want to save a student. We did not create this module. Your next date created. And when we are saving this one, we want to do some changes to the the way we save our data maybe uh, whatever the changes you may need to know i know you get what i'm saying you want to do changes or to edit some files or the logic that your next has already written on a document that they have already done and you do not want to redo the whole thing how do you do that well fortunately we have what is called a method override and that is what i want to show you today how do you override a method that is already written now I am going to dive into that straight forward, straight away. And I have opened my code here. Oh, I need to enlarge this. Is it, is it enlarging? Wait. Let me open something here. I'm going to go to my apps. No, let me not go to apps. Yeah, actually, let me go to apps. Yep, apps, and then my custom uh, app here, library management. And then I'm going to open this module. And I'm going to go straight to hooks. You see the hooks file. Now notice that I am in the hooks file of the app that I created. And then somewhere here, um, there is what we call the override. Okay. Find whether you have it. Override. That one. IDE. Override. How many overrides do we have? We have this one override doc type class you see this one override doc type class just uncomment it and then you can remove this we remember we want to or you can just leave it there and comment it we don't need it whatever you decide to do with this one just do it so what we are doing here we want to override the student class okay so we want when you are saving the student we want something else to be done even before you save or to overhaul the whole thing altogether so how do you do that well the first thing you're going to do here is to provide the path to the method that you have written okay so what you're going to do first of all even before we write this path we're going to write off our own method first so uh let me see whether we had a place where you are saving our methods config we don't have I don't know let me see templates did we have something like api we didn't have anything like api oh we have here we have an api file so open this we can just put it here we can just decide to create an, an another class so actually let me create a file so inside library i'm going to create a file called save this as over of uh, overwrite.py so overwrite.py save my file oh this one will not allow me to save so let me quickly jump into console here this is when my server is running i'm going to make this larger in a short while so here i will do sudo so then erp next what sudo is because i did ERP next and then I'm going to provide my password then change to this uh, bench and then training and then I'm going to go to where list I'm going to go to apps and then library list it we have those tools change again to library we have that yeah so clear here I'm going to do a sudo touch and I'm going to touch touch is written like that so dot touch i'm going to do over writes dot pi over writes dot pi now 
okay provide the password done is it there overrides where are you overrides 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 yeah overrides of buy is right there so now i'm able to access that so i can come back here and actually it is open all right so this overrides.py note that we want to override a class that was written by erp next so i'm going to navigate to where the class is so the class that you want to override note that this is going to be the student class so i'm supposing that this is supposed to be an erp next erp next then maybe education doc type student maybe yeah student student of pi this is the class we want to override so we can do some we can override something we can override maybe this method here the validate method validate method so how do we override this method for instance so that it does not do all these checks we just wanted to come and pass like whew, just pass and go how do we do that great so if you look at this we are supposed to first of all import this so we can do from erp next dot and you see it's giving you suggestions so it's supposed to be education dot where did we go we went to i think doc type i don't know yeah i think doc type then dot what else dot student yes no student is there another dot where did we go let's see yeah dot this the student the folder and then we have the student of pi so this student again student again then we say import import what what do we want to import we want to import uh we want to import this class here so student so student import student no 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 import student like that all right perfect yes that's it so the next thing that we need to do is note that this student is taking in a document so we need to import this document uh document document uh item here so we can just copy this thing as is and bring it to my file so import that and then the next thing i'm going to do is to simply write my class so class call it your name i can call this karani uh student call it whatever you want to call it but not make sure that it is taking in a document just like the other just like the mother the one that you are trying to the one that you are trying to override here so you are, you are trying to override this so just take in that document the one we imported here so after that the next thing that we're going to do here is to define our method the one that you want to to uh override and this is going to be a validate and this validate takes in self just like you can see from the mother here it is taking itself and then we can go ahead it is overridden already that that thing has been overridden so we can go ahead and do something here so i can just print so whatever you want to do now do it here so um let me just create some space here so that we see where we are we are we are doing this and i can say this is the this is the place we put our logic Okay, provide the password this is the place we put our logic mm -hmm. three dots just to be sure define that and our method is done we have overridden this validate method just like that so anything here now doesn't matter what matters is this one but hey remember that we have to put this or to tell our system that hey you are no longer going to look at the validate function inside here you're going to look at it inside of my own class the class i created how do you do that the hooks remember we were writing something here and then we stopped so override doc type class here you're going to provide two items and that is key and a value the first one or the key is the name of the doc type which is student done we are done with the first item and note that this is supposed to be the capitalization is very important so if s if put a small s here too, it is not going to work so don't don't mess up yourself up by that mistake and then the second thing is the path or the 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 route you are taking to your item here so this one is going to be library management overrides and then my thing so 
library management dot overrides dot currently did I call it currently student something like that I think overrides currently student yeah let me just copy it and paste it here just to be sure so save it and it is saved nice so can we go ahead and now try to save a student and see what happens let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see i'm expecting that here i'm going to see a printout telling me that it is not going to uh, i mean telling me what you have said here print this and by the way why don't we just return so that the system kills the process there so print that and die <laughs> all right let's save our student refresh 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 refreshing refreshed first name test last name student student and then the email address is test at student.com so when i save i'm expecting that here you can see what we have here this is the place we put our logic this is coming from our override class so instead of now running the method or the uh cl the class uh, i mean the method that is here instead of running this our system has now overridden this and it has executed this one so that is where you see that it is printing this statement here so that is how you override methods in flappe and erp next and until then if you have questions ask me in the comment section below and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one